Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing Super Mario World 2. Confirmed! I was doing this way harder than I need to here. So remember that row invisible coins? Like, right where there was that guy whose cookie I was trying to ride? Get to the top, like, get a feather with that is offered within the level. Get up the row of invisible coin, and you can flutter all the way across with the key to where the lock is at. Simple as that. Uh, pa da pa pa da pa. Oh, crawl space, it's a bar. It has peaceful music. Okay. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Star Wars. That's a bird. It's the Star Wars bird. Get a fireball. Probably get some money in there. From I'm trying to speak. Oh, there we go. Pachaco. It's great meals, huh? You have to go. Well, no, I would eat a meal. Let me buy a meal, store NPC. What a jerk. I guess you need to get here with a... With a- with a feather? Uh, well, I got a mushroom there, so maybe that's just like a normal type power-up. Let's return here through the magic of time and space and re-entering spheres of light. Figure out what kind of power-up you can get at flashing bar. It's called the pub crawl, because we're gonna crawl all over the floor. Yeah! Feather on! Here we go. Yeah! Free money! So if you want to really slowly farm lives, this is a methodology. So I think I press up in front of all the NPCs here and just like, no one but Pacheco had anything to say. It happens, like, they don't want to talk to this weird man that just arrived out of nowhere. Dynamic duo! <laughs> it's a question. Oh, I see. You will need my- you will need my this level, so do not lose me. Alright. Got it. I understand what you just said there, kinda. Uh, honestly, I think I want the bread. Glad I bumped into you there. You see, Blue Goshi is not all he seems. He cannot fly. Alright, sweet! You're not as powerful as, as- well, I mean, you're a Crocodibly. You're not a Yoshi. Rules don't necessarily- Oh, but we're just kind of approaching on our own there. The oh, there's wind. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Well, that taco stand- uh, Oh, okay, well, this is solid. For what it's worth. I can get up there, though. Yeah! Uh, yeah! There we go. I'm trying to get up. There we go! So where does the reset? Okay, yeah, so there we get tiny baby guide and I feed him mushrooms. So you get ample resettos, which is good. Reset is fun. Yeah, so that's fine. Taco stand. So, like, try not to get hurt. I don't know if it's because, like, it's Yoshi only wind, which would be, and then I can't do that. Uh, well, nothing benefited from that. So I'm having an issue right now where like as soon as I land, I just kind of get hit. I'm wondering what would be my best option. So now I don't have a tailfeather. Like maybe I should just try to eat as soon as I land. Like it could be as simple as that. You can't eat that taco. You see here. Huh. Full spin. Yes, you are. Okay. Got it. Okay, that actually might change how thing. Ah, uh, shoot. No, just... I need to land on that guy. Yeah, I did it. Ah, uh, I need to land on that guy again. Ah! Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. But like when you're right where you're in that zone, where they're happy to comply. Yeah, that's right. I ate that egg. Ain't nothing you can do about that. Uh. So you guys... I can't eat with the Yoshi, but that's fine, I can still crush you, indeed. Yeah, you can't fly using this, so what's the point? I don't know where I am. What happened? What? Was it not a shell? Maybe it was a P-switch or something? I guess it's not impossible. Like, I just, like, didn't pay attention enough, uh, at the shape of the object. Is it, it's the right color to be a P switch. Dude! Alright, he's eating. So I can do this. Careful. 
Yeah, that is a P-switch. This whole scene exists to make you doubt yourself and be confused a little bit. Ah, uh, well, never mind. I probably still need him and the world just does not like me. Can I go inside here? I've been able to enter such doors before, but here it's not responding, so okay. And it's like, ugh, stop it, please. I beg of you. Alright, skip that down there. Alright, so, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I took a gamble and it didn't pay off. We did it. Man, like a lot in this game. Felt kind of impossible the first time, but now that I've done it, it's really not that bad. Alright, so we still got crazy wind. So, still play with, uh, man. Might be dead. Okay, I'm not. Yeah. Not dead yet. Alright. Follow the arrow. Uh, um. What? Okay, well. You had fun. <laughs> Charlie! Dang it. Ah, uh, you're so hateful. Well, I mean, I'm probably doomed. It's fine. You're allowed to give power ups to, you know. But I guess you don't want to. Can't blame you. Oh, that's not solid? Okay. No! Ah! Uh I don't know. Psychologically, because here, this, this is it. Don't need to go faster than that. Dude, why didn't you land on him and kill him like before? Alright, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going and see if you do need Yoshi all the way to the end or what. So I've been here before. I've been murdered by you. There's a reset door. So, the, the, wow, is that. No, I think this is a different. Scene, but I'm not sure actually nope start all over from the very beginning that's fair but like that's the end well okay so now I know that there's a reset there though so if I lose Yoshi I don't have to just erase myself from history immediately there is still Way to go. Alright, don't... Don't rush too much. No! Like, why did that hurt? Why did... I just... Yeah. Like, please, just give me, like, one in beginner somewhere. Anywhere. Anywhere. Like, why you gotta do this? I guess I... Huh. Oh, tabarnak. Whatever. No, why? Well, oh, shoot. Can I land on something? Okay. Alright, uh, don't. No! Come on, Mac! Yeah, like, it takes nothing! Like, you barely breathe in the approximate direction of a molecule of his nostril, and he just runs in a hole. Like, I find that more frustrating than just getting her in a traditional video game sense, and I don't know why. There I jumped too early, I'm aware. What? I think maybe that's my beef here. It's like, Yoshi has this comeback mechanic where, you know, yeah, like, you're a bigger sprite, so it's hard, it's easier to get hit, but you can run and, you know, catch back up to him. And that's kind of fun. But here you're surrounded by infinite pits everywhere, so if you get hit, he just kind of runs in a hole and that's the end of that story. Maybe that's the reason? Like, there's a weird, like, psychological thing happening in that way? Maybe. Well, there's always that subtle wind. My favorite video game element. Forever. You just do this, and it's like, yeah, don't get egg, don't land weird. Ah! 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 What? Wait. All right, then. No.
Man, what is going on with the screen stutter? Like, the game is just not able to handle this. Ah, oh, shoot, why did I stop there? Well... Uh, uh, playing some hyper here. Ah, oh, no, I'm good. Kinda, well, no, no, but I... Mm. So, everywhere do big far jumps, except for here. Let's at least, so here, yeah, you, you jump down, but not too far down, because you need this key for something. No, well, and there we go. See, like, he's... No! Alright, so we go. Oh, you used the key against the block there. No, the screen is just as stutter me for me. Stuttery. Whatever. Already, thank you. Ugh. And of course I miss, but that's fine. That's gonna respawn. Just be dead already. Every sprite in existence. That's all I ask. Yeah, you're gonna respawn. I have as many tries as I need, assuming something stupid doesn't happen. There, I wanted to throw and spit, but it didn't work out. Oh, it's a piece switch. I thought it was gonna be a vine. All right. Yeah, well, you tried. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, had I known? No, I still would have needed Goshi, but I could have, like, jumped and then Yoshi jumped and get up there. But I think you are sub expected to sacrifice him to be able to get up there. Maybe if you kept an enemy around, you'd be able to do a jump off of it. I feel like I should not have struggled as much as I did, and this is a mistake, but I am just pressed the button here. Oh, lightning. Okay, that's cool. I want to play a real level. Like, I don't want to play Gimmick Town USA. I just want to play a level, please. Just a straightforward, if difficult, Mario level. With Mario elements to them, like thwomps and a hop. And the small man power walking at me threateningly. There we go. Now we're talking about. Look at that. Look at that Bowser. It looks like a cow. I mean that in the most polite way possible. Lots of sloppiness in my playing there, but no, yeah, I'm used to dealing with wind. I've been playing with wind for like half an hour. Uh, very subtle, but very there when suddenly it's gone again. I have actual control over myself again. But it looks like I need some time to readjust. Good time- uh, there we go, don't do anything dumb. Unless you ask permission from the king. If he won't give you permission, you can at least take his money. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Oh. Yeah, I want to play some Mario Mario here. Really getting what I wanted. These things look like beehives. You know, that like this is uncomfortable to time, friend. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's stupid barrel blasts and Mario. And it's just not what the game wants to give. Like, how do you time this? Yeah, like... Make sure you're big to be able to pay the first cannon tax. Because I, I don't see how it's ever possible to get there without getting hurt. I'm sure it is. As I frequently do, I am speaking through hyperboles. What is merely a fluctuation of my thoughts? M? Not yet. We're in the clouds now. That makes sense. It is a Lakitu. Yeah, no, yeah. This is like Cloud City. All of this, uh... <laughs> Look at that big guy. Oh, man. He is popular at parties. Well, yeah, I activated that thing too early, and then I messed it up. I was clumsy around the hurdles, and then so I... Video games. All right, you're big now. Doesn't mean a whole lot, because, like, if I die, it's probably falling in a pit. That's fine. Like, being able to, like, tank a muncher here or something would be useful. Or, you know, when I meet this guy in that thicker place here. Yeah, so here, you do this, so you can prep this way. Yeah, there we go. Go into that angle pipe. Still no M. Alright, but we got a G here. Yeah, I saw that coming. Skull and crossbone and what wall? That's pretty funny. It's a poison wall. Don't lick it. Uh. So okay, no, there's a ledge there. Okay. It, it blends in with the background a little bit. All right, get up there. Um. Whoa. Some eerie is just like appearing and disappearing. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Too many sprites, so some guys just stopped existing and they're being generated, so, uh... Yeah, have fun with that! <laughs> yeah, we're in the sewers now. Oh, there's that sewer wind from, like, way earlier in the game. Yeah, you can fight. No, you can't fight? I thought you could fight. Okay, if you're swimming, you can fight. Sure, missing up on those money coin. It's kind of good. Uh, no, yeah, keep going. All right, here we go. Just don't awaken the jellyfish if you can help it. All right, well, that was a segment. It existed. M. Ice. Very similar. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, well, cut that grin, please. Your football, yeah. They're color coded in this game. It's pretty neat. You always know what to expect. That's a little floppy fireball. This is a slight jump. And I'm in danger forever. Can y'all just walk off, please? Thank you. So, I understand now that that's just kind of the idea of the level here, that it's just like a big gauntlet. So I'm just kind of saved there, by the way. <laughs> just said hi to that guy in complete silence. Yeah, this just kind of goes on, huh? Alright, well, if we keep taking our time, and the world is on fire, those statements mostly unrelated. I'm safe up here. If there's money, you're probably safe. I jumped too early. I... 
I should have waited for another flame cycle. Sweet, great, sweet, sweet, great. No hidden midpoint or anything. That'd be silly. I feel like this is gonna be a lot easier with fire. <laughs> Alright, you don't get smushed, you just get a bit of a runny nose. Sweet, sweet, cool, great. never gonna hit me. I can hit him all day long, though. That is the nature of our relationship. Alright, so here there's money and it's not safe. Alright, so anyway, the last time I died because I, I... I... I went a little bit faster than I n needed to. Just take your time, man. Like, to an absurd degree. I just didn't expect a flank to be there. Up there. Jump, always a bit of a hassle. Yeah, just like there's no time limit. Just take your freaking time, man. Um, there could be a feather. There could have been a feather. There was not. Just take your time. Just take your time. Feels like there's like one segment per world. Like this is like the world in review. So we're getting there. Look at that invisible block right here. And use it to store all your invisible stuff. Like your morale, your support, your love for your fellow men. It's all in there. Hey, check out this door. That door's not invisible. Give me an M! Just won't give me an M. Uh, taking chance, Spikey. Yeah, yeah, wow, you, you did it. You mastered this segment. Ooh, star. That's scary, but you know what? It's just a big ol' spike zone. Here we go, land on spike and play the xylophone. Uh, 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 crawl a little bit. Oh jeez, alright, hey, I even got one up at the end. There we go, destroy all your enemies. Yeah! I can see the sun. We're somewhere, okay, so midpoint before the boss, that makes sense. Everyone dancing. Oh, it's all the bosses we fought that we all remember well. Not at equal amounts. Oh, look at that. It's the evil wizard door. All right. Lightning floor, well, ceiling, castle status. Not good. <laughs> all, right. all right. Let's panic inside this little pipe here. Okay, so it's not a boss, but an escape unit? Well... Um... <laughs> that didn't really work out. Uh, okay, so I was store here. You get unlimited lives as long as you're in it enough to get that escaping mushroom. That's pretty cool. All right, so you get a, a mushroom here. So I'm always going to be at least big. What I'm looking forward to running through this corridor every time. Like I understand why it's there. Uh, it's very useful, effective. The first shot. 20th shot though, you're like, yeah, I gotta go through this every time, huh? Looking forward to it. So that was just like a big jump. Is it just like running start and jump here? Yes. Okay, so oh boy. So you just gotta know your jump. Like there needs to jump not as much. Oh, okay. We got ourselves some uh, trial and error here, possibly. Look, I, I hope everyone understand, I literally have infinite tries, I'm always gonna be here with a mushroom. I'm gonna put a safe state as I enter the pipe, so I don't, like, I expect to do this many times. Let's just be... realistic. 
Like, let's just be considerate. Alright, let's go. Because, yeah, like, this... Okay, so this... this mm. Oh, um... Dude! Dead. Oh, wow, so... <laughs> Okay, okay, that's pretty good, but it's not the end. Super lame, man. You want to think when you heck no, I want to do the auto scroll. Oh, that's you? Oh, wow, yeah, an auto scroll, huh? So you're, you're a elite Koopa now. I like how it's explained as him having a raccoon, and I don't know how to deal with that. But, like, you take more than the. Ah. But yeah, you can't duck jump. See, there I could pop him, no problem. Uh, how many hits do you take? He's balled up, it shouldn't- Like, I still am unsure if I'm actually supp- How'd I go through him? Like, what's up with that now? So what, is he double sprite glitching with the- <sighs> That's so dumb. Like, what were my options, realistically speaking? No, yeah. Okay, so I caught him off screen. He won't be spawning back in again. That's my sweet killer move. I don't know if this made me win or lose, though. Like, it depends on if the goal is to the end of the section. Or to kill him before the section is over. Like, that is the main... Eh. Okay. <laughs> and there is his soul in bean form. What an anticlimactic end. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, you were never an occasion in the first place. <laughs> I just glitched him off screen, and then I went through, so, I mean, I got my answer, oh man, so see, had I known that you can't kill him other than using a P-Switch, my behavior would have been a lot more evasive, and I wouldn't have gotten as hurt as much trying to hit him. So, that's an unfortunate part of miscommunication between the player and the playee. Well, I beat the game. We got post game though. Man, the end game. Well, I mean, the end game was pretty uneven, so I don't know. I still have high hopes for Brown Town. Every level that was an actual level and not the boss or the viney barrel part, I loved. So, assuming there's more just plain Mario gameplay, I'm looking forward to the post game. Oh, what a confusing string of events this was.